Now, we, that was a little piece of 60 Minutes story we didn't run because of time, yeah. but, uh, but you did him... Uh, who else would you like to? Harry, Harry Seacom? The voice was always I, there. I used, to, I used to love the goons, and uh, there was a... Uh, oh, Major Blood Knocker, crip me crippers and crip me crappers. Oh, <laughs> to keep it on the stick. And, um, you know, the old... Uh, there was one little gag I used to do when I was a kid was um, from one of the shows, and it was um, Harry Seacom saying, And now I'd like to, to, uh, to saw the legs of this grand piano. <laughs> That's strange. I've never seen a grand piano with four legs. Hoi! Here's that goes. I keep falling down. <laughs> <laughs> <Come on. laughs> oh, <Okay>. well. <laughs> Dr. Wright? Ah, well, Ray, it's been a marvellous... <laughs> Finally had the white hair. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Um, I had a couple of charts out the back there, Ray. A couple of ladies' problems. But they're all solved now and nobody needs to worry. <laughs> What, did you ever do John Michael Housen? I've <laughs> <laughs> got to get into this. Oh, no, no, no. Was, actually, I wonder whether they were related, because the way I did it, they both sound the same. <laughs> and John, John uh, Howard. John <laughs> Howard. Yeah, <laughs> actually the same, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Stewart? Uh, well, uh, it, it depends on when, when you're going to have uh, the, the, the old Jimmy Stewart or the, the, the young one, which uh, was c- kind of really getting in there and fighting for the, the, the cause, you know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> You made the point of that 60 minute story that, in fact, you were doing it almost class clown. It's hard to imagine you as a class clown. You, clown, you seem to be too clean cut and too, too nice. But obviously, back there, you were. Too nice. <laughs> I was never nice. <laughs> But taking the Mickey out of the out of the Christian brother teachers. Yes. Well, brothers. it was it was uh, just something that I, I used to love doing, and uh, they were wonderful characters. The wonderful men, you know, they they had uh, their teaching methods were a, a particular style. Uh, I remember um, uh, on sixty minutes we were talking about Brother McMahon, who would walk into the classroom with a real gait. You know, he'd come in and he'd throw that the port. He'd call, throw the port down. Right out, Rosie beads out, boys. We're going to do a bit of a prayer. And that, that's the way he was. And then there were, there were others. There was uh, dear brother Bell, who would, uh, he'd uh, say, good morning, Anthony. How's dad and mum? They well? <laughs> <laughs> and I, and I, I, just, I just loved their voices. It was strange that um, I had more of an ability to really carry off the, the voices of people around me rather than, you know, the big movie stars who were, who I think everybody was.